Yo, what up, everybody? This is Don Willie. You know, I'm um, just recording the video real quick. Doing a prediction for Season 5, Game of Thrones, for the character Sansa Stark. Now, for one, if you haven't read the books, Song of Ice and Fire, all the way up through the fifth book, then you don't need to be watching this. If you haven't watched all four seasons of Game of Thrones so far, then you don't need to be watching this because this is going to be spoiler heavy. Now, I know this is a predictions video, um, but you know some of it ties back into things that have happened previously in the books and also in the show. Now, for anybody who's seen the Season 5 trailer, um, you know, you see there's a scene with little finger and Sansa and little finger is telling her that you know there's no justice in the world except what you make right um and we've all heard the rumors about her becoming Lady Stoneheart and also there was an interview where she talked about there being a very traumatic scene uh and something that's going to be even crazier than the Red Wedding, or at least up to that level, right? So, you know, there might be some people out there who are thinking, you know, this dude is crazy, this is all all the stuff that I'm about to say, and I'm like, oh, this is all straight tin for you, crack pottery, et cetera, et cetera, but follow me on this one here, you know, the deeper, the more I explain it, the, the more it'll make sense. So, let's pick up where we left off in Season 4. At the end of Season 4, you see Sansa Stark uh, dye her hair black. Littlefinger is, uh, you know, talking to a couple of the Vale Lords, and her, Littlefinger, and Robin Aaron are supposed to take a trip, you know, around the Vale to meet some of the, some of the subject people, small folk as they sometimes call them, right? And a lot of people are thinking that, you know, after what happened with Liza and Littlefinger pushing her out the moon door, that pretty much they're going to do the same thing to Robin. But, I say thee nay. Now, in the book, Sansa is supposed to be betrothed to uh, some dude named Harry the Air, right? Who's like a distant cousin of distant cousin of Robert Aaron in the books he's Robert in the show he's Robin right so he's supposed to be uh, she's supposed to be patrolled to him and you know in the books they might try to bump him off in order to get um, Sansa in control of the veil right but in the show there is no Harry the air now what I think they're going to wind up doing, based off of the whole plot of her possibly taking the Lady Stoneheart role, and also the fact that we haven't seen anything with Jane Poole, who um, in the books is, you know, uh, the fake Arya that the Boltons use in order to cement their claim on Winterfell. What... I'm predicting, and I could absolutely be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong on this one. What I'm predicting is, Littlefinger convinces Sansa to marry Ramsay Bolton in order to secure a Riverlands, Northern, and Vale Alliance. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wait, wait, wait. That doesn't make any damn sense at all. You know, 
It's Sansa Stark. Sansa's already married. She can't go and marry Ramsay Bolton. And plus, why would Littlefinger do that when Littlefinger wants to marry uh, Sansa? But Littlefinger wants control of the Seven Kingdoms. Littlefinger has no armies. Littlefinger is the most manipulative, conniving, scheming bastard on the show. He's going to do whatever it is that he thinks is going to get him the Seven Kingdoms without him having to actually fight for it. So, let me explain how this all goes down. Sansa poses still as Elaine Stone, Littlefinger's niece. Littlefinger is Lord Paramount, sorry, Lord Paramount of the Trident, which gives him control over the Riverlands. And since he is Lord Protector of Robin Aaron, he is also in control of the Veil, vale, which is why they can't kill Robin Aaron because if you kill him. Well, hmm, his mother just committed suicide, and that was kind of suspicious, and now all of a sudden, the kid ends up dead. Okay, well, then you got a fight on your hands. Who is in control of the Riverlands? Not, sorry, who's in control of the Veil vale if you kill off Robin Aaron? Can't be Littlefinger anymore because the person he was supposed to be guarding is dead. So... The other thing you got to think about is Roos Bolton. Roos Bolton, while he is, you know, Warden of the North, doesn't really have the North under control. Not the way he wants. And the only way he can get the, you know, the North under control is A, to cement a claim on Winterfell, and B, to have backing from surrounding uh, neighbors and their armies. So, you marry Ramsay to Sansa. There you have your Riverlands, your Vale, and your Northern Alliance. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, if that happens, how does Sansa become Lady Stoneheart? Now, we saw Sansa crying, um, you know, when Littlefinger's telling her that we gotta get justice. And I'm pretty sure that this is partially because, you know, he tells her, oh, well, you know, I want you to marry Ramsay Bolton, and this way you'll be able to get back in Winterfell, and we can do our skimming and conniving from there. She's probably all freaked out, like, oh my god, you know, you're gonna send me to the people who killed my killed my family uh he's like look, 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 look. you go there you marry him we do our little plot in the scheming thing we'll get the Boltons out of there and we'll have all these three regions locked down it's not a problem now what I think happens is little finger takes her to Winterfell they do the ceremony she gets married no one is any the wiser that Littlefinger has just you know put Sansa Stark you know the only supposedly surviving Stark family member right back in the place where she belongs right now the thing about it is there's one person who actually does know that Sansa Stark is there. And that person is Theon Greyjoy. But Theon Greyjoy is not himself today, is he? He's Reek now. He's taken on that persona. And in the books, we see him break away when he rescues Jane Poole. And, you know, they go to the Stannis' camp. But, since there isn't going to be the Jane Poole... Theon, at first, is, you know, still going to be Reek. Sansa's going to freak out later on after Peter has already left and has left her with Ramsay. And she comes across Theon and she's going to be thinking, oh my god, my cover is blown. 
But, you know, Theon's still going to be playing up because he's like, look, I'm not trying to die. If I tell, you know, that this is Sansa Stark, then who knows what they might do to her, who knows what they might do to me. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut for right now. Now, the traumatic scene, the one that's supposed to be Red Wedding level, for those of you who've read the books, you should already know what happens with Jane Poole, Theon, and Ramsay. And yes, that is going to happen to young Sansa Stark. That is the catalyst for her plotting her escape and joining the Brotherhood without banners. She will find some way to, you know, gain passage to the Riverlands. And when she gets there, she's going to meet up with the Brotherhood without banners. Uh, now, whether Beric Dondarrion is still going to be there or not, eh, who knows. But she's going to get there. She's going to become Lady Stoneheart. And she's going to get the revenge that her mother was getting in the books. Oh, and also, um, let's not forget Brienne and Podrick. Oh, yeah, what? You think that's not going to happen? Episode 10, where she's out there hanging whoever? Oh, yeah, listen, Brienne and Pod don't get to just roam around free for, for a whole 10 episodes or however many episodes they're going to have them in and nothing happened to them at all. You know, nah, they, they got to have, you know, something happen with Brienne and Pod. Something interesting. And the interesting thing will be, <laughs> do, do they survive being hanged at the end of the season? Do they send Brienne to go find Jamie or not? We all know Jamie is going to Dorne. Jamie's not going to be in the Riverlands. So, so you know, a little, little trickiness with there. But expect for, you know, episode 10 to be, you know, Sansa, you know, hanging a couple of frays and also meeting up with Brienne and, you know, uh, possibly, uh, you know, Almost choking her to death. Who knows? But, um, anyway, enough of my rambling. You know, uh, I try to put this together as logically and as concise as possible. And, unfortunately, my damn camera, uh, this thing I paid so much fucking money for, uh, just decided it wanted to screw up on me. So, any skips or anything in there, um, yeah, that's because of this thing. Thank you, Canon. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, you know, let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see uh, any other videos or, you know, you'd like to debate me on this point. I go back and forth all day on the keys. Um, and, yeah, you know, I'm making more videos. Uh, so, you know, just want to say peace. Thanks for watching.